It won't follow the shape of the roof, but this is the best way of placing a gutter. It needs to keep a downward slope or water will get stuck inside and become a source of bacteria and bad smells. To join two cable pipes, Cut a piece of it in half and use it over the join. With a bit of tape, it will create a perfect surface that won't break. Squares are devices consisting of two straight edges set at right angles to each other. Carpenters and machinists use them for many different things. A nail or a screw and a measuring tape are all you need to draw circles of any radius. The foam rubber vacuum seal on it is strong and resistant to loss of vacuum pressure. Follow this easy tutorial to get a perfect pipe opening. Instead of just drilling the pipe, you can craft a handmade tool to melt the spot and fix another piece on top, leaving a cleaner finish. Using a screwdriver, you are creating a solid canal to unscrew the fastener. This worker shows us how to craft a soldier course miter. A soldier course is one in which brick is laid standing on end with a narrow edge facing out. A thick coat of concrete can stop any leak you may find quickly and cleanly. You only need to apply a little pressure and remove the excess material. Getting tape through narrow spaces can be a problem, but you only need a dowel to solve it. These tools are small and narrow enough to go through any opening. Workers need to use all their inventiveness to solve problems along the construction process. Like how to make the skirting go around a round faucet. You can give a room a different touch using gypsum and a special roller to create a wood effect. But these rollers can be pretty expensive, so this creator shows how to make one by cutting and melting a plain foam one. A couple coats of paint varnish and sealant will give it a hard texture. Before applying the roller, extend a piece of plastic to prevent the gypsum from sticking to the tool. The concept of cranes originated from pulley systems that were first utilized by ancient Mesopotamians as early as 1500 BC. This easy DIY project creates a simple tool to pour concrete into a mold. Heats often the material and helps fit the wooden bottom perfectly. The diagonal opening helps focus the concrete into the areas you want.
When using large tiles in a bathroom, you have to cut openings for pipe and faucets. When using this technique, make sure that the stencil has regular sides to take the measurements correctly. Make sure to always have a ruler near when placing boards on a corner. A pair of clamps are perfect to help you make a straight mark on any material. Heats often plastic materials, making them easy to mold and shape. A carpet's materials are hard to cut, so you need a really sharp knife or tool. A PVC pipe elbow, a nozzle, and an air compressor are the main pieces of this handmade mortar applicator, perfect for an irregular space like this stone wall. The air pushes the mortar out the nozzle that has to be thick enough to let it out. Any hand grinder can cut this smart change for your towel. That small part makes the perfect tool to create a smooth path to place all the tile spacer. Join two rulers together to create the perfect tool to measure irregular corners. It helps you cut the perfect shape and waste less material. Instead of making the shape directly on the frame, this tool takes its measurements perfectly. A vacuum takes the air out of the square on the back, creating a vacuum effect that fixes the tool to the wall perfectly, allowing you to work with both hands. Instead of throwing it away, cut a paint bucket to create a handy winder. Using a power jack, you have all your cables organized and well stored. Thank you for watching this video on Top 5's HD. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel for more content like this.